Start off by threading a line through the flow tie. Next, pick the correct size float rubber for the stem of the float. For this float, I know the second smaller size is best. You want a size that is not too loose, but also not too tight. Cut off three small pieces of rubber, with one being slightly longer than the others, which will sit at the end of the float stem. Thread the rubbers onto the line, then onto the stem. Slide one just under the float body, one in the middle of the stem and the longer piece hanging just over the end of the stem. Make sure the line isn't wrapped around the stem and is in line. Slide the float up the line. Grab the relevant shot you need for your float. For this, 5 number 10 is perfect. The size and amount of shot you need will depend on the float and what you're using it for. For me, pliers make putting the shot on the line easier. Make sure to keep the line tight when applying shot. Slide the shot up to allow room to tie your hook length loop. Cut off the damaged part of the line which has occurred from applying the rubbers and shot. Next, tie your loop for your hook length. I prefer to have it as small as possible, so using a small loop tire keeps consistency. Place the shot in the pattern you want. For this rig, I want a strung out bulk right above the hook length. Start back in the rig on your winder to store it. How many turns you do determines the length of the rig. I did 9 turns, which is about 5 foot on this winder length. Give yourself half a turn, then tie your Dacron loop. This needs to be bigger than your hook length loop in order to attach it. Make sure you cut off the correct tag end too. You don't want to cut off the loop from the rig. Continue to wrap the rig on the winder and secure with either the slider or a pole anchor. And there you have a pole rig all tied up and ready to go.